What's up, fitness family? You know your boy got that God juice. Man, it's August going into September. You know what that means. That's football season. I hope. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it around this time. I get pumped up. I get hyped up. It takes me all the way back to as a child, just knowing, man, football season is about to start. It's about to have fun, y'all. That never leaves your blood if you're an athlete, y'all. From from a from a kid learning the game, all the way up to now, man, I get excited in the month of August. Uh, it, it's just, man, it's a good thing, y'all. So best of luck to the football season, all these. Uh, graduating seniors like my son Jacoby, he's one of them, uh, and, and a couple other kids uh, that I work with, uh, DJ Carlos. Uh, you know, I pray to God that these boys have a season, and any other senior out there, I, I pray to God that they have a season and, and complete a whole season and give themselves an opportunity to go to the next level, which is college, if that's God's will. If it's not, it is what it is. Uh, but this COVID-19, man, it's, it's, it's busting people upside the head. But it's given me an opportunity to read. One of the things that I used to hate doing is just going reading books and, and different things like that. But I didn't. I, I realized my Uncle Roger, he used to tell me all the time he read books. He'd be like, you read, nephew? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but really, I'll be reading. I, mean, I ain't going to lie to you. I got, I got all the way through college with skimming through the book just to find the answer for the question. So I probably could have made better grades, even though I made good grades. Uh, intuition is what got me through my tuition. <laughs> anyway, y'all, listen, I want to share something with you. Because this is, this is going to be, this is tough right here, y'all. This is really tough for everybody to do. It, it, it was tough for me to do for a long period of time, and I still struggle with it sometimes. But doing the right thing, Doing the right thing. How important is doing the right thing? And doing the right thing, y'all, it, it costs you a lot. It's costly. That's how much it costs you. You can hurt somebody's feelings. Your feelings gonna get hurt. And a lot of things are affected when you do the right thing. I'm going to give you an example about doing the right thing. One time, I was walking behind this dude, <laughs> and the dude dropped his wallet. Credit cards fell out. It was one of them little flip wallets. Credit cards fell out. Man, this, this dude had a bunch of hundreds in his wallet. I picked it up. I'm right behind him, though. I'm walking behind him. I'm like, man, I can go get me a bunch of stuff with these, this man money. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I had to think about it like, man, if I take this man money, I'm probably going to lose a bunch of blessings. And if I give him the wallet back, you know what I'm saying? God's going to bless me some other kind of way. So I said, sir, excuse me, you drop your wallet. And uh, he was like, oh, man, thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. And uh, after I gave the man the wallet, man, the man gave me forty-five dollars, well, fifty dollars. It was fifty-dollar bill, fifty-dollar bill. He gave me fifty-dollar bill. Uh, and at the end of the day, I felt good because I could have took all his money, but where would that have gotten me? Knowing that I did wrong. But I gave him the wallet back and I got $50 and then turned around and uh, got a bonus on my check from my job where I was working. So I just looked at it as that was God blessing me because I may have not gotten that bonus. Maybe I earned the bonus. I don't know, but that's how I look at it. But that's the example that I want to give you is about doing the right thing. Man, it's going to cost you. Every time, y'all, if you think you're getting over on somebody, it's going to cost you. I promise you. And what I had to learn is every time I did not do the right thing, it cost me. It hurt me. 
And then when I started doing the right things, guess what, y'all? I started seeing my blessings flow. I'm talking about flow like a river. Just flow. So now I'm more interested in doing the right thing than doing the wrong thing. So if you're listening to this video and I've done anything wrong, I apologize. Forgive me for anything that I've done wrong. If you're watching this video and I've wronged you and you like, I can't stand that, that picklehead boy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Look, I apologize. I apologize. But I'm about doing the right thing. At the end of the day, it's going to cost you. But guess what? You'll never lose your integrity when you do the right thing. What's more important, your integrity? Or you think that you're getting over on somebody? My integrity is more important than any of that, y'all. At the end of the day, go y'all go check out Proverbs. Um, Proverbs 28 and 18. Go check that out. Make sure you make the right decisions, y'all. Do the right thing. Might cost you. But guess what? You'll feel better. You'll feel good. You won't feel guilty. Y'all have a good day. Happy Friday, baby.